welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm gonna film this by myself. I'm gonna give it a go. Um, so anyways, we woke up this morning and it was nice and cold outside. I don't know where I'm supposed to look here. That side? I think it's that side. Um, and it was cold and it felt like fall. And today I'm going to make our family's favorite corned beef and cabbage. Um, so I'm gonna show you what we have here. Okay, we're gonna start with the pork roll. I've got three nice sized yellow potatoes, two beautiful carrots, a small head of cabbage, and a rutabaga or parsnip, whatever you wanna call it. Okay, and it's a one pot meal, so it's very easy. You just cut up all the vegetables and the meat, you lay them in your roasting pan that I have in here. You throw it in the oven and you come back in a few hours and it's done. Um, so I'm gonna prep all the vegetables. Still don't know where I'm looking here. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna prep all the vegetables and then I'm gonna come back and show you how I, what size I like them. You don't want them too small. We want it big and chunky and it's gonna be super flavorful and um, that's it. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, so I had everything chopped and ready to go. I've sprayed the bottom of the pan with the pan and I opened the meat um, in the pan too and just kind of collected all the juice. And now all we're going to do is we're gonna just start laying in the vegetables. Just toss them in there. There we go. Squeeze as many as you can in. And what you don't use, I'll just use in a stir fry tomorrow. Nothing gets wasted here. Put another cabbage in. Put that one there, it's like a puzzle. So I'm trying not to make you guys sick and move too much. Uh, we'll put another cabbage there. And the idea of it is we're gonna, oh, well first I'll put the meat in. There we go just keep layering the vegetables in. The vegetables are going to pick up the, the flavor of the meat and cook in the juices. So it's gonna be, oh, it's just wonderful. All right, we'll shove that one right there. And I think we might be overloaded with the cabbage. We'll save that one. And then the last step is we're just going to cover and smother with some pepper. There we go, we like lots of pepper. And that's it. We're going to cover it, stick it in the oven at 350. Ooh, you can see my greasy stove from cooking this morning. Sorry, everyone. Um, and then we're going to cover it, stick it in the oven at 350 and just leave it. Leave it for probably three to four hours and just let it cook slowly. And that's it. I'll see you when it's done. And there you have it. Corned beef and cabbage. I'm going to put some on a plate. You have a nice toasty potato, some carrot, some gorgeous cooked cabbage, a turnip, and here's your corned beef. And we always top it. Well, that's good. With some mustard on the side. Bam! Dinner served. What do you think, Max? It looks good. <laughs> so don't forget to like and subscribe.